quick little video, quick little walk through Ikea here in China. This is the Ikea mall in Foshan. I did a video about Ikea in Guangzhou a few years ago, but that's a very small Ikea right in the center of town. It'd be like having a giant Ikea in the middle of Manhattan. Although Foshan is also a big city, this is a fairly new Ikea with a giant underground parking area. And from what I'm told, is a lot more modern. So they have controlled entry, checking temperatures. So this gets you in and then up the escalator. Well, I think this is like a playground for children. So Chinese apartments are pretty much all the same. You know, the you know, there are differences, but you know, the layout is almost exactly the same. Two, three bedroom layouts. So having some Ikea stuff is uh, something new. As far as prices go, I think that most of the stuff is about the same, but some things are cheaper. Like these little glass jars are 50 cents. Yeah. Potpourri is $1. You know, it being a Saturday and a hot Saturday, this is a popular place to come and explore a little bit with the family and get out of the heat. Something like this sofa here is you know, 11,000 RMB. Yeah, it's a nice sofa, but after living in China and seeing prices that you pay for other furniture stores, this can be on the pricey side for the quality that you're getting. Again, that is just my personal opinion on the matter. And of course, everyone is wearing masks and you don't see people like taking naps and beds and things like that that you always hear about the Ikeas in China. This is new, kind of a modern... I haven't seen this one before. It's like a reptile aquarium. Of course, uh, in the big cities, and Foshan is one of them, small spaces are rather common. So you come here and get design and living ideas for your small space. Something else I've noticed is that most of the men tend to focus on the big ticket items, the, the sofas, the beds, the entertainment centers where all, a lot of ladies focus on the tinier items, the little, little trinkets that are everywhere. Oh, look at this, isn't this cute? This would go great in the bathroom kind of <laughs> conversations. Yeah, every apartment in China has a little balcony, and this is about the same size as mine. So it's great to get some design ideas. Of course, oftentimes, just like on my apartment, you have the washing machine out on the balcony. Oh, tiny little <laughs> kids' room. I like these shelves with a fold-down kitchen table. That's pretty cool. Well, everyone's still kind of on edge here. Everyone's still aware of what's going on in the world. This is one of the nicest Ikeas I think I've ever been to. And I've been to a few in China uh, and a few in America. And this is one of the nicest ones. Yeah, although it's great to, to see all of this, I'm actually here today to uh, upgrade my workstation. I have a small wooden desk that, you know, I carry three computers on and not much space for all my stuff and it's just a mess of wires and so uh, I'm looking for uh, a bigger desk but one that I can actually build myself with a couple of, there's like a wood slab. I'm trying to incorporate some different ideas. So I'm here for inspiration more than anything. Hey, this is the first modern setup I've seen in, a, in a, an Ikea. <laughs> I actually have one of these chairs back in America and it was a great chair. It was uh, about the same price too, if I remember. These things here, these are strange. I'm not quite sure what they're for. Ah, another great modern look again these are different than the ones i've seen in the past this one actually has a projector screen dig it another chinese patio area something this is just a simple little black screen would be great 
Again, because my apartment at the university, it comes furnished. Um, I don't have any need for any of this and don't need to waste money. I mean, the furnishings are good enough for me. If I had a choice, I would replace it, but I can't complain if it's free, right? <laughs> the other versions of this chair are twice as expensive. This is for $4.99, which is not a bad deal. The design offices are in this little cubicles rather than out in the open like they are in other Ikeas that I've seen. And this is actually what I'm looking for right here. This little rolling kitchen table from my, from my kitchen. Just a little extra space to do food prep and some food storage. About $100 for this. Smaller one for a little over $50. And of course, you start to get into all the little knick-knack areas. Kind of a wall desk setup. Not bad. A little expensive, though. There's a, a gamer setup. This is the first time I've seen this at, a, at an Ikea. Boy, desks here are very expensive. And they're not the highest quality, I'll admit. Uh, you can find better quality and much cheaper online or at any Chinese furniture outlet store. See, I think what I'd probably end up doing is just taking one of these slabs and putting it on top of a couple of file cabinets. Just the, the simplicity of it. Ah, kid's paradise. <laughs> of course, you absolutely have to enjoy the cafeteria at IKEA, right? Of course, when you come to IKEA, you have to get the Swedish meatballs, right? <laughs> so I got the meatballs, the salad, and the water, all this for 32 RMB which I think is a great deal. And I lead you into the marketplace where you get really good deals on a lot of mass-produced items. I mean, it's not a bad place to go shopping here. Kitchenware, you know, mugs and candles, whatever you want, really. It's the same as it is back in America, but I think the prices here might, in fact, be cheaper. I mean, something as simple as this, right? Look at the price. Two yuan. Someone mentioned in one of my live streams recently that I need some plants in my house. And every time I try to get plants, I, they die. I can never keep them alive. So maybe I should get some fake plants instead. They last forever. Yeah, it's a big difference between this one and the one in Guangzhou. The one in Guangzhou uh, doesn't have the self-storage area. Everything, you go through the showroom and then you order everything online. They have a few things, but it's not big. This is massive. They, <laughs> they have almost everything here. Oh, a great outdoor patio area display. I haven't seen one like this anywhere. This is the returns area, so you can get everything really, really cheap here. Look at this. 249. So I was gonna buy the new one, but this one is 40% off. So I think I might just take this one here. Not a bad way to spend a little lunch time walking around, getting some ideas. I ended up buying that uh, table for the kitchen. You know, 249. I, <laughs> it's cheap, and it, it's gonna be a great addition. 